To remove a graphics card from the Gigabyte Aorus gaming box, all you need is a screwdriver and you will need your graphics card of choice. The first thing to check is if your graphics card will actually fit inside. So my graphics card here, just for example, seems a little bit too big to fit in this Gigabyte Aorus box as it's not an ITX card. Please ensure that it will fit on if you do want to put the shroud back on the Gigabyte Aorus gaming box. An important thing to check as well for your graphics card is the wattage on the graphics card and the wattage on the power supply. On this particular power supply, it says 450 watts max. So this graphics card won't come close to that as it's an RX 580. Please make sure as well that your graphics card will only require one 8-pin connector as this power supply for the 1070 model only has one. To remove the graphics card, it's quite simple. Grab your screwdriver and undo the Phillips head screws off the side of the case. Please keep these screws safe as we will need them later. There are screws on the front, left and right side of the box. Please remove these. There will also be two screws at the back, so six screws in total. Once you have all the screws out, hold the front and hold the top and pull to the left or pull back. As you can see, the shroud is now off. Inside here, you will find your graphics card. The first thing you should do is disconnect the power cable. To disconnect the power cable, you will need to remove the top bar, which just pops off. And this is what keeps the front and back connected. To remove the power cable, press the latch at the back of it, press and wiggle and pull up. You now have the power connector out. There is also a piece of cardboard in here that has some glue on it that you just need to lift up gently. The next step is removing the back screw. To do this, all you need to do is remove the screw. Please keep this safe. Unlike other PCIe 16X slots, at the bottom this one does not have a latch to remove the graphics card. So in this case, we just pull the graphics card up. So I put my fingers at the bottom and put them at the top as well and gently remove the graphics card. There we go. The graphics card is now out and we're ready to go for our new one. As you can see, my new graphics card doesn't fit as I was just using it as an example. While you have everything open as well, I'd highly recommend for you guys to dust, uh, preferably using something like a like an air duster or something, because these things can get pretty dirty. I'm just gonna do a quick wipe. To install your new graphics card or the graphics card that you removed, you will need to align it with the PCIe slot, as well as the back bracket being aligned to the case. Once those are all aligned, as you can see, you can gently press down and now we have the graphics card installed once again. You will now need to install the back screw once again. Please ensure that you are using the same screw as they are different from the case screws. Next, you need to put the power connector in. For the power connector, it will be divided in a six and a two pin. Take the two pin here, press it towards the other one and slide it down. You will now see the two connectors align. To repeat, take the power connector, press it onto the other one and press down. There will be now no gap. You can now press the power connector in and the previous latch should be towards the back of the graphics card. So once you have the graphics card installed once again, as well as this power connector and here, and double checking that it's in correctly on the PCIe 16X slot, you now need to press this plastic down again. I mean, it's not exactly necessary, but it probably will keep it in place while it's in transit. You can press it down, hopefully it sticks back. 
Unfortunately, mine doesn't stick back properly, so just try your best to stick it down, otherwise you need to grab something sticky to replace it with. Next, you need to put this reinforcement bar back on the top. Probably just need to press in either side. Now, just as we took it out, I'm going to put it back. So, how to put it back is have a look at the actual screw holes here. So, the screw holes at the back go towards the back. So, it sits like that. And then, the front of the case, this side, like this. Need to align it. It's easier to lift it up a little bit. I'll put it on its side. It needs to get on the racks here, and then it can be pushed in. There you go. So hopefully, showed that off. And then you will need to put these screws back in. One tip while screwing as well is if you haven't got the case exactly in is to just press down on the side that you need and although not ideal these screws should go in. If you have any force or resistance it probably needs to be adjusted to the screw hole or you need to put the screw straight. Once you're done you have now installed your new graphics card or reinstalled your same one. Thank you guys for watching and I hope you guys have a good day.